Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to talk about it. Pal World, the game that released this last Friday, January 19th in early access, took Steam by storm. I have seen reports saying that they got like 5 million downloads through the Steam store this weekend. And there are screenshots out there that I took from the rankings board saying that they had 1.2 million players. I'll put those up as we go through this. But man, this is an kind of a crazy thing. This was a dark horse, wasn't even on my radar until a friend of mine had messaged me that they were basically just like no lifing the game this weekend. I told that friend to go touch grass and they said no, they had to play. And then I looked into Pal World, and now all I want to do is no life it. But what exactly is this game, and why am I talking about it here? Well, let's get into that. But if you guys like the coverage that I'm going to do here today from something that I really, really enjoy so far, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And if you guys like what I do here, maybe I'll do some gaming streams or even just do some long form gaming videos that I can put up where my wife and I go through the world and we just have some fun with it. But anyway, so Pow World is basically what people have been calling Pokemon with guns. And although that works for a meme, it doesn't exactly work for what the game actually is. And the game is basically just a kind of a standard survival type game. You get dropped in a world and you have to go and you have to build your base and gather your resources. And unlike Pokemon, where the game itself is got to catch them all and the point of Pokemon is to catch them all. Although that is a point in Power World, that's not the whole game. The whole game is to build your base, survive the raids, go beat some of the bosses, and overall collect your resources and survive in this really, really colorful world. Now, it's getting a lot of crap right now on Twitter, which I know most people on the planet are not on Twitter, but it is still a factor to talk about. Uh, to a point where I saw some screenshots today, uh, I didn't have time to verify these screenshots, but I did see the screenshots that supposedly some developers, I'll put them up over here, are saying that it feels like this game is cheating. And I can only think that that's probably just some jealousy on the part of these guys basically wondering how in the world did this game hit and get so popular? Well, I was talking with a friend of mine and he said, you know, nostalgia is a big thing. And when it is kind of a survival type game where the Pokemon-esque style of gameplay of capturing these pals and you know, and, and keeping them, uh, it really does. It really does have somewhat of that. Uh, but I don't think it's just nostalgia. What's so crazy about this game is how many people that I've seen in my circle are all saying that they're playing it and all checking it out, which is really weird because my circle, that most people don't really play the same games, but a lot of people, people I didn't expect, are checking this game out. So Power World is essentially, like I said, it's a survival game. And I ended up playing about three and a half hours yesterday with my wife and my wife stayed up until like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> uh, to continue playing it. And essentially this game has a broad audience. What are some of the negatives that people are talking about right now? The biggest negative is that it's an early access game. And supposedly the developer has actually had uh, games released before that were early access that were promised to go full access and with full game results and never quite did. And so there are some trepidations among the gaming community saying, you know, although this game does look uh, decent and it does play well for an early access game, not a whole lot of glitches, uh, the, a lot of people are kind of commenting on the negative business practices of the company itself who has actually released Power World. There are a lot of people saying that there could be some legal allegations here when it comes to Pokemon, how the functionality of the game is, how some of the creature characters look, and so on and so forth. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really see a whole lot of merit in there. I mean, you can go back and, and Pokemon was Pokemon was said to be plagiarizing some games back in the day and basically taking uh taking forms of other characters slightly changing colors slightly changing models uh from games like you know dragon quest and so on and so forth i mean this goes back for like this goes back for a long time dragon quest dragon quest yes i believe it anyway but this argument goes back for a long time 
Now, why would you play this game over something like Pokemon? Well, as somebody who I played Sword and Shield most recently, um, why would you play something like this instead of that? Well, because there's more to do. The point of the game isn't just to go out and get Pokemon and get more Pokemon and, oh, by the way, there's only a couple of gym battles. The point of the game is to build your base, gather resources, become stronger, build your gear out, and ultimately climb the ladder in a, ver in a much more technical way. And I've even seen some comments from people saying, hey, Game Freak, maybe uh, maybe you should realize what people wanted out of Pokemon and what that game could have become, but they really haven't changed a whole lot in the 20 some odd years that they've been on the market. I mean, I played Sword and Shield and although there were some quality of life improvements and some other little mini games and stuff that were fun, largely it's the same game that I got back in the day. The first Pokemon game that I had was Pokemon Gold. And I think that was what, 2000 to 98? I don't remember guys, it's been a long time. Please let me know. But largely what we're seeing here is a game that is just kind of a breakout success. Everybody is talking about it. I didn't hear about it until Saturday morning. A friend of mine told me about it. We were talking back and forth. And then all of a sudden I see YouTubers that I've been following talk about this game and then all of a sudden i see youtubers doing video essays talking about the drama that's going on on twitter talking about how they're plagiarizing pokemon and all of a sudden i realized there's a grassroots thing happening with this the excitement around pal world is something that is very strange especially for a game that i haven't really heard about it's broken records on steam and continues to climb now, I will end this video by saying that my initial thoughts on it, I was, again, trepidatious with uh, the survival type games. Some of those games can be really good. Some of those games can be really grindy. But there's so much to do in that in that gathering stage, right? You're gathering materials. You're building your base. You're gathering the pals. You're having the pals that can work for you, right? You go, you gather a pal. They all have their own special, unique things that they can do that they can bring to your base. Some of them plant. Some of them water the plants. Some of them mine. Some of them help craft and build. Some of them guard your base against enemies that are coming in. And some of them are bandits that are actually people and you can capture the people, which again, leads everybody to lose their minds on Twitter. And a lot of people want to throw around the whole slavery thing on Twitter. Overall, this game is very, very, very fun to somebody who had no idea that it was even a thing two days ago. In fact, I liked it so much that I wanted to do this video. I also want to record a couple of other videos for this week, which usually I don't do. Usually I try to record a video a night, but I'm actually going to be recording other videos, so that way I can hopefully get that out of the way so I can have more time to go play Power World with my wife, because this game is absolutely addictive. It's so crazy that something like this, this dark horse kind of came out of nowhere and now all of a sudden it is a massive success on Steam. So guys, overall, I think this is a really, really great start to a game. There's going to be controversy surrounding it. What do you guys think about the controversy between Pal World versus Pokemon? What do you think about the controversies where they say they're using AI or whatever to create this game? What do you guys think about Power World itself? If you've tried it out, let me know. And if you guys have anything to tell me, like, hey, don't forget to do this, please let me know because, like I said... I do try to find games that I can play with my wife, and my wife and I are both absolutely ready to sink some more hours into this. And above all else, don't forget to leave those comments down below, because I do a live stream every single Sunday, and I make sure to read every single one of those comments on my live stream called Sunday Coffee. It airs at 11 a.m. Central. And also, let me know in those comments, do you guys want to see some gameplay from this with me and my wife just hanging out? Maybe I could do it a live, live streams are kind of tough to fit into the schedule lately, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and share this video for me if you guys are new to the channel because that really, really helps me out. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.